Welcome to Toyota Time with Timmy the Toolman and Sean. Today we are filming in Blairsville, Georgia. And the reason why I'm in Blairsville is I'm visiting my buddy Jordan who lives in Atlanta and we're up at his family property in Blairsville. What we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to install some spiker engineering gas hood struts on a first gen 4Runner. These instructions will also work for the early pickups from 1984 to 1988. If you're not familiar with Spiker Engineering, he makes some pretty sweet products, one of them being the gas hood struts. And if you don't understand what we're talking about, you know how you have to lift your hood and then set the prop rod in place, and then that's what holds your hood in place. Well, now with these gas hood struts, you simply Pop your hood from inside, you go release the mechanism, and then the hood struts just magically lift up the hood, and it keeps the hood up higher, and you no longer have that prop rod in the way while you're working on your engine. So it has some nice benefits. To start off, let's show you all the parts for this job. Here is all the parts. You, of course, have your Spiker Engineering hood struts, and then you get a bunch of hardware. This is a completely bolt together modification. You don't have to drill. You don't have to do anything of that sort. It's a pretty straightforward modification with a very high satisfaction. You don't need a whole lot of specialty tools either. You're just using basic Allen wrenches and sockets. Nothing that you would have to buy special to complete this job. So let's get out to the truck and get started. This is the old fashioned way of raising the hood. Oh my, it's so hard. It's oh, so heavy. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that, this thing's in my way. I'm gonna bang my head on this. I just wish it would go higher and go up by itself. So with this modification, you're gonna get a little bit more vertical clearance of the hood. And you are, of course, gonna be able to get that annoying prop rod out of your way so it's not hindering you getting to where you need to get while you're working on your engine. The instructions we're using for this video are coming right from the Spiker Engineering website. He has a nice PDF document that we are gonna follow step by step to properly install these hood struts. And we will link these instructions in the video description for you. But the idea is we're gonna do a good enough job showing you how to do this to where you actually won't have to consult the written instructions. You'll just be able to watch this video and be able to accurately install these hood struts on your first gen 4Runner or your early Toyota pickup. For the first step in the process, you're gonna need one of these brackets. You're gonna need two of the longer bolts and then a nut. And this is what one of the shorter bolts looks like, so that's not the one you want. You want two of the longer ones. Where that bracket is gonna go is it's gonna go on the driver's side. So you can see we got the front fender, I'm going forward, and there's a bump stop for the hood. We're gonna take this 10 millimeter bolt out. We're gonna set the bracket down. We're gonna install one of the M6 bolts here, and then we're gonna insert the second bolt and then put a nut on the backside. So Jordan got the 10 millimeter bolt out. Now he's gonna place the bracket down and then he's gonna thread in one of those M6 bolts. Four millimeter Allen. He's got the first bolt started not tight and now he's gonna slide in the other bolt and then get the nut on the underside and get that one started. Okay, now that both bolts are started, he's gonna do the final tightening with the four millimeter Allen. Question is, do you have to hold the nut on the backside? Is it turning? No. Okay, good. So he didn't have to actually hold the nut on the backside. Spiker Engineering provides serrated flange nuts, so they hold onto the surface down here. You don't have to hold it with a wrench. 
So we take one of the new struts. The directions say to make sure that the ends are threaded on properly. You see that they can unthread, so we make sure they're threaded on nice and tight. And then it says to compress them against the floor a couple of times to eliminate the initial stiction of a new strut. So we put something soft down and we're good to go. Now we're gonna take the hood strut and install the rod end. That's the part that's on the rod, not on the tube. Put the rod end onto the fender. It's just a push fit, snaps in place. For the next step, we're gonna need one of the nut plates one of the ball studs, one of the shorter M6 bolts, and two washers. So to start, put the ball stud through one of the washers and partially thread it into the tapered end of the nut plate. So now we have the nut plate with the ball stud and washer partly assembled. We're gonna leave some gap here so that we can capture the hood between the washer and the nut plate. We're gonna use the second hole up the nut plate slips inside, and then you raise it upward, and then you can thread it in, and it will capture it in place. So you're actually just clamping that nut plate against the hood. So now we need to get the short bolt and a washer into the second hole. So this is just finger tight, so what I can do is just pull it over so I can reach it, and then I'm gonna thread it into the lower hole until it's finger tight. Now with both of them just finger tight, I'm gonna slide it up so that it's as high as it can go, and then fairly centered. And then I can torque these down. To torque it down, a 10 millimeter deep socket will fit over the ball stud. They don't need to be that tight, just snug. Yeah, because if you go too crazy tight, you might just start bending the hood, right? Yeah, and then we'll snug this one down too. There we go. Nice. Now with the lower support and the upper support installed, we can attach the prop rod. We actually have to raise the hood slightly, so I'm going to put the prop rod down, get it out of the way. Look at that. Look at that, it holds it up on its own. With just one strut, it's holding up the hood. And if we want to, we can still leave this in place until we get the second one installed for safety. Safety Jordan. <laughs> in the directions, it shows reorienting the EFI resistor, which is the box about this big with some ribs. It sits against the fender right here. In the directions, you have to loosen the bolt and clock it downward to make room for the strut. In my case, I don't have that. I have some upgraded injectors. They are a different impedance, and they don't require the EFI resistor. We're gonna skip that step. And this is on the passenger side only. You shouldn't have any interference of the hood strut getting in the way of anything on the driver side. For the driver side, go ahead and get the other bracket, the two remaining long bolts, and one nut. So it's the carbon copy of what we just did. We're gonna remove that bolt for the bump stop and install the bracket with the two M6 bolts. We'll put the bracket in place, put one bolt through this hole where the body nut already exists. Finger tight. We'll put a bolt through the other hole and then put the serrated flange nut behind it. And then just spin this bolt to get it started. All right, now we can tighten these down. There we go. Good and tight. Good and tight. Now we'll go ahead and attach the other prop rod using the rod end, go ahead and snap it in. So now take the rest of your hardware. There should be one nut plate, one ball stud, a short bolt, and two washers. We'll start with the ball stud and one washer. Thread it into the small tapered side of the nut plate. Now we're ready to put it into the hood. Using the second hole up, slip the nut plate in behind, bring it upwards, and then tighten the ball stud by hand until it stays put. Taking the last short bolt and washer, find the lower hole in the nut plate. Are you good at finding the hole, Jordan? Absolutely. And keep them both finger tight so you can raise it all the way up. Yep, there we go. 10 millimeter socket 
to snug the ball stud down and the four millimeter hex to tighten the lower one down. Finally, we can attach the other hood strut. And there it is. Now we can get the prop rod out of our way. And now we get to see how well these Spiker Engineering hood struts work. Magic. It's magic. Do it one more time, one more time. Well, here, let's see. <laughs> That's pretty nice. It's very easy to close too. And it doesn't need any help getting it up, unlike Tim. <laughs> all right, we are all done with this sick modification on a first generation 4Runner. These Spiker Engineering hood struts are so satisfying because every time you lift your hood to check your oil or to do whatever you need to do underneath your hood, you're going to appreciate these Spiker Engineering hood struts. They're affordable, super satisfying. You can't go wrong with a simple and awesome modification like this. If you have any questions, you can comment or you can just go straight to the Spiker Engineering website and Leon will gladly answer all your questions. With all that said, we thank you for watching Toy Out of Time with Timmy the Tool Man and Sean and special guest Jordan. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button and also click on the notification bell if you'd like to be notified when we put up new content on our channel. Peace out. Happy wrenching, sick mods, and sick spiker engineering hood struts for your first gen 4Runner or for your early Toyota pickup. Bye bye.